Marshall University's engineering department has always challenged students. We talked to Bob Lang, a former student, about some of the challenges he had overcome coming from Marshall to NASA. When I was young, um, I just thought was always, always pretty good at math and science, was always very interested in it, not just good at it, but it was, I guess it was good because I was interested. And my dad and, and, and an uncle of mine, um, my dad was just a eighth grade education, hard worker guy, you know, but he always said, you know, with my math and science interest, and he said, you ought to go to you know, become an engineer. It's just something I grew up with in the back of my mind. And it's just what I always wanted to do. I, I assume that was the major influence. I uh, really wanted to go to the University of Florida. Out of high school, I was accepted and couldn't afford to go. So I stayed home with the local junior college. And when I, when I was getting ready to graduate, I applied again to Florida. But the program required as a junior to declare a major. And I had played junior college basketball with a guy who had played freshman basketball at Marshall. The program at Marshall was a Bachelor of Engineering Science. So my very first semester, I actually registered with the Dean of the Engineering School, Dean McCaskey. Why I wound up in his office, I don't know, but we had two catalogs open, the Marshall and the Florida. So everything I signed up for at Marshall was to be a direct transfer to Florida, because that's really where I wanted to go. I got to Marshall and I loved it. I loved the people, the, the, the campus, the, the camaraderie of everybody, and I thought, this ain't bad. I like this. So I stayed. I got married when I was at Marshall, um, and my wife's family and my family were both in Orlando. So my real goal was to get back to Florida. And she, I had written a form letter, application form letter, to various companies. and and my, you know, mainly in Florida, engineering companies in Florida. And she said one night, should I write a letter to NASA? I said, Lord, no, they just take masters and PhDs. Well, she listened to me as always and typed the letter and mailed it off. And I got a call in the engineering office at Marshall and uh, from NASA Kennedy Space Center uh, Human Resources. And I said, are you serious? Would you like to come to work for NASA? I said, absolutely. Here we were at Marshall University and a lot of people didn't know who we were. Sadly enough, until what, three years later, we hired in 67 and, and the, the sad airplane crash was three years later in 70. That's when people start r realizing who Marshall University was and it was sad. But we worked shoulder to shoulder with Purdue grads, with Georgia Tech grads, with MIT grads, doing the same job and, you know, and t taking turns on shift. So we were right in the middle with them. We, had every, we were as prepared as they were. And they're some of the best known engineering schools in the country. We were absolutely prepared. The facility today, we saw, we took a tour last week and of the new facility, and it's incredible. I can, I can imagine students just loving going to class there, and uh, it's, a, it's a tremendous facility. We probably have some Marshall graduates working at Kennedy Space Center. I hope so. There's no reason they shouldn't be. From Marshall Today, I'm Kayla Simmons.